if we imagined we're a mind that exists in a space where there's no media at all and there's no communication, then, but I'm a, I have a fully functioning mind, then I have only my imagination to stimulate myself with. I'm not getting stimulation from any other entity because it doesn't exist and there's no, nothing that can be exposed to me in this world. I'm in a blank world with only a mind. It's only the imagination. This, this imagination will be constrained because it has no, has no experience. It has no, uh, it has no input. <laughs> so it'll be limited. Uh, if it gets some input, gets some experience, then it will have, it'll be able to draw upon that and maybe manipulate it and twist it into other kind of ways. The more experience that mind gets, the more capable it will become at imagining things beyond that. And so the more tools we have for experience, actually the easier it is for us to imagine things beyond that. Maybe in the, in the part of our time when we are consuming some media, our imaginations are less active in that part because we're consuming an experience and we're consuming understanding. But once that ends, now I'm, I have the benefit of all that experience and understanding, simulated or otherwise. And now I can apply that and my imagination can run wild from there. Um, so, you know, it's, it's kind of neat where there's this weird trade-off. Like, and, you know, I deal with it every day. Every day I get up in the morning and I have to decide how much of my time am I going to spend consuming the video games that other people have created, you know, the art that exists in the world, versus how much of my time am I going to spend trying to create my own things. And if I spent 100% 100 of my time consuming, I would never be creating. And if I spent 100% of my time creating and not consuming, my stuff would probably become very bland and same, and we'd tire of it. It would, it wouldn't, it would, I would expend what are the limits of my imagination. Um, and so the balance between consumption and creation is, is I think, key uh, if, we're going, if we're going to hope that our imaginations can give us things that it hasn't already got, given us before.